Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Hope you've had an awesome week. So I wanna talk about the importance of putting together a vision for your business. <clears throat> You're starting to hear us say this more and more and more. We've started to use some statistics that we've known for quite some time, but 96% of small businesses never see their 10th birthday. In fact, 50% of businesses never make it past a year. So if you've made it past one year in your small business, you're already beating the odds. Of those that survive, 91% of those never cross a million dollars in revenue. And it's why we say business is hard and it gets harder. The faster you wanna go, the further you wanna go, the more complexities and the bigger challenges and problems that you're gonna to have to solve. And so I think that one of the most important things that you can do in order to beat the odds, in order to stack the deck in your favor, is to get it out of your head what it is that you see as the vision for your company. So what is a three-year vision? Well, it's certainly a lot more than some pithy statement. It is a several-page document. Yes, it is a several-page document. I know many of you may be like me and not really uh, a writer. I certainly am not. Uh, I would wait to the last minute in college before I would ever finish a finish a, a test. I'm sure my dad may even be seeing this, but uh, it was true, and I got I got decent grades. But it is important for, for you to be able to get all the nuances and the details out of your head about where you see your business in the future and reflecting back as if it has already happened. I think three years is the perfect amount of time. If you think about this, if you had written a three-year vision statement for your business at the beginning of, let's say, January of 2019, that vision, that three-year vision would have already been completed. You would have had all of 2019, all of 2020, and it would have completed in December of 2021. Where were you in your business in January of 2019? That's not that far away. And so if you think about, if you put it one together now, and let's say that it took you through all of 2020, uh, excuse me, 2022, 2023, and 2024, it will be here before you know it. But I also think it's not too long, say 10 years out, because so many dynamics change. I mean, so much changes in a year, let alone over the course of 10 years. New technology comes up, new opportunities come up. And so I think it's difficult uh, to articulate a 10-year vision as opposed to a three-year vision because the three-year is close enough, but it's also far enough away that you can you can still dream and, and think big. So why is it important? Well. I think having a three-year vision is so important because for a couple of reasons. Number one, it gets it out of your head and down on paper, and it makes it become a lot more likely that it's actually gonna to come to fruition. Number two is your team, your suppliers, your customers, your vendors, your future team members, they, they can't read your mind. They're not in your head every day and so, if you've said something one time, because you articulated it, and you created it in your head, you think everybody understands it, but they don't. They can't read your mind. And so those details about kind of how you see the culture in your business, what does your marketing look like? Um, even detailing out about how you started the company and where it, where, it, where it came from, where it is today, and where you see it in three years, those details really ultimately matter. Now, as with most things, it's this is a good idea. This is something that you say and uh, or hear somebody says, and I'm not the first one to certainly say it's important to articulate a, a vision, but it's another thing to do it. It's another thing to do it. And so if you're listening to this and you know that you have a vision for your business of where you want it to go, but you've not taken the time to begin to put it down on paper. We've got a, a, a worksheet workbook that can really help you. If you'll just comment workbook below in the comments, 
we'll make sure we send over to you the uh, PDF uh, that goes along with uh, this little training today. So I hope this was helpful. It's important to get it out of your head where you see the business in three years as if it has already happened. Reflecting back, uh, sharing the details of marketing and how your business looks and feels and what's the culture like and how do you gain new business and how many team members do you have? What's revenue look like? All of those details really matter because then once you do that, then you can begin to reverse engineer the future um, and look backwards and say, well, what needs to happen over the course of this year? What needs to happen this quarter? What needs to happen this month? And what needs to happen over the course of even the next seven days in order to move us closer and closer and closer to that ultimate vision? All right, everyone. Hope this was helpful. Comment workbook below if you'd like a, for us to send you a link. Have a great day. Lead one.